All right, hello everyone. We're, this is the pilot trial of a new thing we're gonna do doing of just relaying news to you guys that has happened over the past week. Um, as of right now, just mainly related to Force of Will and our channel, but we'll see how this goes. Um, so this news is just in general news, stuff from the company, th things with the Q&A sessions with Jordan, different things like that. So this week, we, we had a whole host of things that uh, were happening. Um, first, uh, there's uh, been a big push uh, in the past couple weeks to try and get a Levitine ban. Um, I think it was uh, it was mentioned it was sparked from a recent ban that happened in Magic at the Gathering where something wasn't banned and then because of the amount of uh, community outrage over it eventually was banned. So they were hoping to replicate that. But it looks like that probably won't happen. Uh, when uh, we asked in uh, the Q&A with Jordan if uh, Levitine was being considered for a ban, uh, he just said, nope. <laughs> and uh, when I asked further if uh, there was going to be uh, the reason for not a ban because they were having uh, cards come out in the next set to help counter that, he, he said no to that as well, that Levitine isn't uh, a problem as of right now. Um, <coughs> next uh, thing is they came out with uh, some percentage graphs over the past week showing that in the top eights over the course of um, what rulers were the top uh, eights and what percentage they had taken up. And uh, out of the 80 spots I believe they had surveyed, 46 I believe were uh, pressure rulers. So over 50% at least, I think cl close to 60%. So that was an interesting tidbit of info. Uh, during the Q&A, uh, Jordan uh, uh, talked about how there's going to be, in the future, more than one tribal ruler. And so tribal rulers and tribal decks uh, is going to become, not necessarily more, more prevalent, but they will be popping up more. And he said it'll be closer to how uh, Grimm and Milliam have their interactions with uh, fairy tale resonators. Um, it'll be that type of interaction for tribal decks in the future. So that'll be something to look forward to. At the time that he gave that uh, um, Q&A, which was two days ago, he said it'd be two weeks until we start getting our spoilers for uh, Echoes of the New World, so that's something to look forward to. Um, Echoes of the New World will be released the Friday of the 26th. He said uh, that in L4, this next set, there's not going to be any Oni support, just uh, as for any of you guys holding out for Onis, and uh, for that if you guys were aware they had done a poll on the official force of will uh, page for future vingulfs and they took for people to vote on if they wanted chibis or another type of ruler all stars or what they wanted for future vingulfs and he said that that was for just to get a lay of the land of what the community wanted and it wasn't for the next vingulf for sure because that's already been planned out so for if they decide to choose something from that category at the soonest, it would be Vingal 5 or 6 that we would start seeing something like that. Um, and he did confirm that they, or semi-confirm that they would are going to be uh, promos coming out from Vingal 3 cards. So that'll be something to look forward to. Um, he said that there's going to be for luminaries, there's not going to be any of them in L4 or the next set. Just in any time in the future, they're not planning on doing any more luminaries. So that kind of sucks. Um, one thing that uh, Oscar's particularly excited about, I'm pretty excited too. But uh, but uh, he did say the the next set, I believe, right? Echoes of New World, or is it next cluster? Cluster. The next uh, uh, cluster, they're going to be introducing dinosaurs. Um, I personally think that they're probably going to introduce it, at least initially, in a starter deck. Um, but uh, that's something to look forward to. Speaking of the starter decks, he not only confirmed that they'll be doing the starter decks again, like they did for the last, most previous cluster, where they'll not only release them, but that he'll have the unique rulers and unique cards in them. But he said this time around they'll actually be releasing support for the rulers post the starter deck. So. These past starter decks, with the exception of a little bit of uh, Milliam and, uh, uh, I guess, maybe Mikage or Fusine, I mean. Uh, but 
they, there wasn't a whole lot of just support revolving around them. They sort of had him and then a couple cards after and then that was about it. But he said there's going to be continuous support through all four sets during the cluster for those initial starter decks and their rulers. So that'll be something to look forward to. Uh, he did say that L4, they're going to be introducing more uh, support for Lilius Petals. So all you Fox fans, um, that'll be interesting. I'm curious what type of support that'll lend to because he's already got his... Uh, will production and uh, uh, damage, discard, control, that type of consistency. So I'm curious what uh, more support would uh, add to that at this point. They said that moving forward, secret rares are going to uh, engulf just uh, the whole of the card. So instead of just being re uh, resonators, that could be secret rares, super rares. I'm not sure what they're called, actually. Super rares. Super rares. Instead of just resonators being those, it could be spells or, uh, uh, or by spells I mean chants, um, or additions, different things like that could end up being super rares in the future. Uh, and the last bit of Force of Will news is they did announce that the, um, um, going forward, starting with this next set actually coming out, how the past couple, uh, three sets in Lapis Cluster, you've been having CFC cards be re pre reprinted in full art, and you get one per box usually, booster box. Um, they're going to be doing a new type of thing, so it won't be reprinting CFC anymore. It'll be a new type of card, whether it's just a more rare version of a card that already exists, or it's a new type of unique card. We're not sure, but they will be doing something to replace that, so that'd be pretty cool. Um... And so yeah, so that's all for Force of Will news, just in general news. Um, we're working on doing uh, stuff like this for the channel. Also, we're thinking about looking into doing product reviews. Um, so if you guys think that's a good idea, let us know if you have any ideas for products you would like reviewed that either have been reviewed and you kind of want to see what our opinion is on it, or something that you feel like hasn't been really noticed by other YouTube channels or the community that needs to be reviewed. Uh, let us know and we'll uh, see what we can do about it. Uh, we'll have a couple, we're starting to do some unique games such as Popper will be coming out uh, either before this or after this video. We'll have some themes with the Valhalla starter decks. So we're going to try and uh, delve into some more unique themes and we're trying to create more uniformity with the channel. Uh, both with the thumb, everything from thumbnails, you, you'll see with this video and other ones, they have uh, consistent but uh, intros and outros that are unique to the type of video and things like that. So we're trying to create more uniformity and sort of raise up the quality of the videos going forward. And and so uh, let us know what you think. If you have any suggestions going forward, let us know in the comments below if you're still stuck around for all this barrel of news. And uh, yeah, see you guys next time.